Hi, this is Grant Abbott from Gabbett Media and we're going to talk about the mirror tool. Now here I have a normal scene and it's just got a cube in. So if I add my mirror modifier to this cube, okay, go up into my modifiers up here and press mirror. It looks like nothing's happened and that's because it's overlapping itself and the mirror is in the x-axis. This is really important. This is the axis of the mirror. So at the moment it's going across this way, so I'll rotate my view around. So we can see it's going in the x-axis along here. But if I go into edit mode now, so tab into edit mode, or edit mode down here, and I move it across, there's my mirror, because I've moved it in edit mode, and it's going around the origin point, which is here. So you need to make sure that your origin is in the middle. The other thing that's worth pointing out is clipping. Okay, so if I click on clipping, and bring them together, and then let go, and then pull them apart again, you can see that it sticks together. Okay, so you have to be aware that clipping will, if you're making like a person and you want some arms sticking out here and a head sticking out here and a body sticking out here, uh, and then we want the legs to separate, we have to turn clipping off and extrude and pull them out and you can see it creates a face in there. What you do have to be aware of is that if you are using uh, the mirror tool and you've got clipping turned on, you've got to make sure, if I press see-through mode down here, that button, you can see there's actually faces inside here, as you can see. So you have to be a bit careful of those, delete those faces, and it will work well. And if I apply my mirror now, can't do that in edit mode, in object mode, so tab into object mode, apply my mirror, now it's all one object, go back to edit mode, and there it is. I can then start moving these things around individually. Okay, I hope that helps.